Fortress Europa after the June third turn is over. You can see down south the nothing has changed in the other military districts. All the battles up here in our invasion hex. Um, so <clears throat> we had a strong invasion. We're still holding a strong point here, but the Germans have managed to push across the Orne River, and they've captured Kane. Captured, oh, sorry, yes, Kane. Cap recaptured Kane and driven everybody off the Mulberry. Maybe in a counterattack we can prevent the Mulberry from being destroyed. But right now it's definitely in danger. The railhead marker is right here to the edge. That's where the railhead is destroyed. So, this is the end of the third turn, the June third. We're still not out of June. We've had good weather, but. Nonetheless, it looks like um, our invasion is in jeopardy. The Germans have been aggressive in counterattacking, forming a strong defense line here, and pushing this way with strong with armor units. They're depleted. All of them are half strength now, but they're across the horn and they are threatening the Mulberry. That's the right, situation. This is uh, Fortress Europa again, and we're on the June turn is finished. We are now in July. Our invasion is still hanging on, but there was a storm in the last week of June which damaged our mulberry. You can see the X on there. It only has a half strength now, so we can only supply uh, an and the port up here. This port of uh, Cherbourg is also damaged. It only can supply six, so we're down to like 12 units that we can supply. So we're going to have some difficulty at the end of next turn, even if we take that town of Kane back. You see that the, now the Germans have driven us all into a very narrow um, a, a, a thrust into Germany. Maybe we can expand it out next turn, but it looks pretty pretty bleak still for the Allied invasion at the end of June. So that's the status. Okay, we're still looking at Fortress Europa again. Just finished the July. Uh, the second July turn. Second turn of July. Clear weather. And we, uh, our developments are, we are Blackberry, our Mulberry is here, it's still um, damaged. It only has about an eight capacity. And we've got this back up to eight, a six, eight, well, I can only support 14 units. We had to evacuate some. Counterattacks by the Germans are narrowing our little hold here. We're still holding on, but we got pushed back, lost our strong point right there. But another development is we managed to do a commando raid that survived a counterattack by the Germans here. The commandos are still in control of Brest. So next turn we can use that as a port. So that's very encouraging. So we might be able to bring some units into this little area of the Brest area here and destroy this YouTube. U, uh, U boat base right there, which will help our supplies. So, there you go. So, that's the situation on the middle of July in this game called Fortress Europa. Okay, this is the uh, end of the <coughs> July 4th turn, and next turn will be August 4. Fortress Europa that we're playing. A game that I picked up in the thrift store and learning how to play. So the, um, the, the now a second invasion is possible. You notice the invasion here from uh, Cherbourg has been successful and pushed south across and we've gotten um, a strong defense on the Orne River. We had all the bridges bombed out so no one could cross and we're able to move up and down that area and have the push the Germans out. So this area has been expanded and moved south and our commando raid on Brest worked well to open a port there and we've moved south here all the way to this point with the with the British units take a move into this this location there. So uh second invasion is likely here's a good place for it down south just like the historic invasion or perhaps right here maybe 
So that's the situation now. Um, I'm not sure still who would win the game, but it looks good for the Allies. But they have a lot of land to push across before they can get to the major German cities. So that's the situation now.